Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I will show you how to capture Red Ben Clemson on 5 star difficulty. He is the new legendary bounty that was added today. He is a train robber. So let's read his poster. Governor of New Austin wanted. A reward will be paid upon the capture and return dead or alive Red Ben Clemson from the notorious Red Ben gang. Clemson is a ruthless train robber and killer, last seen in New Austin, head of the Red Ben gang. He is a known sharpshooter, has a taste for fine tailored suits, considered armed and dangerous at all times. Okay, let's watch his intro cutscene. Red Ben Clemson. Dresses like he's on the way to church. Acts like he's never heard a sermon. Rob enough trains one of these companies is going to put a price on your head, or maybe all of them. He's a hero to some folks, a villain to others, and most likely somewhere in between. Hey, this might interest you. A fella he used to run with lost his leg, became real bitter with it. He's got himself a vested interest in Ben's demise. Meet him over at Mercer Station, he might tell you where to go. Okay, so when you first start this mission, you will go and talk to this contact here, and this contact will tell you that Red is robbing a train near Tumbleweed, around that area, and you can actually bribe him right after he finishes talking, and then he'll tell you the exact position of the train, but it's not worth it, because a train, it's really easy to find, all you pretty much gotta do is just follow the train tracks, and you'll find it. It's really easy, this is a massive train that he's on, you can't miss it. So just ignore the bribe, don't do that. Now, if you die at any point during this mission, if Red's guys kill you, the train will appear right on your map, so the exact location will appear on your map when you restart a checkpoint, so don't go for the bribe on this, it's not worth it. Okay, so when you first find the train, kill the guys at the back of it, you're gonna kill a bunch of them, I like to kill at least three or four enemies, that way I can just jump on the back of the train and not have to worry about getting shot. Now you want to get on this train as soon as possible, and the most annoying part of this mission is not even the enemies on the train, it's actually the horsemen that are actually chasing you, the cavalry that is chasing you, because there's a lot of them. They're not infinite, they do eventually run out if you kill all of them, but there's a ton of these guys. So get on this train as soon as you can, and then you want to go into this first train car right here and just take cover here, kill these guys, and then you want to watch out for the cavalry that's going to be coming after the train. This is part of Red's gang. There's going to be a lot of them, a lot of these guys, and you are very vulnerable. When you are going in between train cars, you're pretty vulnerable. When you're inside this train car, the cavalry can't get you, and you can take out a bunch of these guys. Now, on the early part of the train, you don't really got to worry about killing any of the bounty targets because there are three on Legendary Bounty Difficulty 5, but... The biggest threat to you on this mission is going to be the cavalry that's coming after you with the train. Now these guys, they can't jump on the train so you don't gotta worry about them. Now I know what some people are gonna be asking me, why don't you just go and shoot the driver and just stop the train right away? Now I experimented with that and that's not a good idea in my opinion because if you stop the train, these horsemen, these cavalry, they will swarm the train. There will be so many of them around. When the train is moving, you are at an advantage because they gotta keep moving, they gotta keep chasing you and it's pretty easy to pick them off. So to sit back here, kill as many of these guys as you possibly can. They will eventually run out. They are not infinite, so just keep killing them. And you know, eventually when you're confident, move up, but make sure you keep an eye out when you move up because there will be a few more spawning as you move up the train. And every time, check behind you, occasionally check behind you, and then shoot forward, check behind you, shoot forward. Be very careful not to shoot the bounty targets because the bounty targets won't appear until you get like halfway through the train, but you can kill them accidentally at long distance. This is, this is if you're trying to take them alive so activate eagle eye as much as you can now i you're not able to activate eagle eye in cover unfortunately so just don't be completely in the cover just be a little bit behind it and then activate eagle eye occasionally just to check if you can spot the bounty targets early on and don't kill an enemy like halfway through the train unless you're absolutely certain that they're that they're not the targets they're just regular enemies now another tip here guys is the bounty targets they tend to stay in the train cars they won't really come outside onto the onto these platforms like right here, there's a train car, and then there's the other train platforms. These, the bounty targets don't tend to come outside, but also just keep an eye out, and keep an eye out behind you, just seeing if the cavalry is coming up behind you, because they are right here. Now, when you climb up on this first train car, I recommend just crouching down, crouch right here, 
pick off these guys, also check behind you, see if any more cavalry spawn, kill as much of the cavalry as you can, because like I said, eventually they will run out if you keep killing them. Now you want to get rid of those guys. Do not stop the train until all the cavalry is dead, because then the cavalry is pretty much going to swarm the train. Now, as you guys see right here, I killed off most of the cavalry. The cavalry is not coming after the train. It's pretty much clear here, and I spotted the bounty targets. Now, when I spotted the bounty targets right here, the annoying thing is that it's going to be really, really difficult to try to get them all alive right here because they're all right next to each other, and if I try to tie one up, the other one is going to shoot me a bunch of times. So, if you're trying to complete the mission and you don't want to stress out about this, then I would recommend just killing the target and just pretty much ending the mission here. You don't got to bring them in alive. But if you do want to bring them in alive, then follow this guide. Do what I did right here because I was trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to take these guys alive when they're just so so close to each other. I'm going to get shot by the other guy. I was thinking about using, you know, a tonic that would, you know, fortify my cores, but then I was thinking I don't want to risk it, especially after all these enemies that I killed. I went through this mission, been playing this mission, you know, for close to 15 minutes now. I don't want to mess this up, so what can I do? What I ended up doing was I actually jumped off the train, I got on my horse, and I was actually riding on the side of the train. I was riding at a distance where I couldn't be shot as easily, and I moved up, and I started killing these guys in these upper train cars, and I knew these weren't the bounty targets because the bounty targets were marked. And my goal right here was to jump on the train, and I almost messed this up. I almost died right here, so just be careful, you know, when you're following the train because you don't know what kind of obstacle you're going to run into. But I got pretty close boxed in right here. My horse ended up dying, but I still got on the train. Now, when you're on the upper part of the train, it's actually a lot easier to get this guy right here because this guy is by himself in this upper train car. Easy to tie him up, get him right here. So what I ended up doing at this point was I went towards the locomotive at the front of the train and my goal was to stop the train. And I can stop the train easily now because, you know, there's no more cavalry coming. So I don't got to worry about them swarming the train. So I end up going here, stopping the train, and I end up killing the guy. I don't recommend hijacking him. I recommend just killing the guy because if you hijack him, he will actually shoot at you. When you throw him out of the train and he slow down the train, he will shoot at you. So you might as well just get rid of him right now. Just shoot him right here, kill him, hijack the train, and just stop the train immediately. Then you want to work your way back and go towards this guy. And now I'm able to kill all the extra guys here. Now these extra guys, it's a lot easier for me to kill them now. I got a better sight on them. There's two other hostiles here, but I ended up killing them. And then right after this, what I decided on doing was I decided on tackling one of the guys. I just tackled him, and then what I did was I punched him. So I spammed circle on the Xbox. This would be B. I'm not sure what key this would be on the PC, but I just knocked him out. Now, if you knock him out, the guy is still alive, so don't worry. He's not dead. And you guys can see the little map icon right there. It's indicating that he's still alive. So I knocked him out. I did that so I could save a little bit of time so I could go and, you know, lasso the other guy. I didn't want to get shot while I was tying up, you know, this guy. So I ended up tying up the second guy, and now what all I gotta basically do is just, you know, put them in the back of the bounty wagon. If you're doing this solo, you pretty much need a bounty wagon. You can't do this without a bounty wagon if you're doing it solo. So I just take the guy that's knocked out, put him in the back of the bounty wagon, take the other two guys, put them in the back of the bounty wagon. But before I go, here's a tip. This train is filled with a lot of tonics. You know, the cars inside, make sure you check, you know, the boxes and, you know, the barrels inside because there's a lot of different tonics. There's moonshine and health tonics. So make sure you pick those up before you get the area. So right now, you know, I'm delivering him and this is pretty much it for the mission. A few more enemies ended up spawning when I was, you know, delivering him back to Tumbleweed, but I managed to outrun them. So you just want to keep an eye on that because, you know, this mission can be pretty long if you're trying to take them all alive. But but that's pretty much it for the mission and you know I had a little animation here where I threw the guy down but the guy was still alive he counted as alive so I don't know you know why it had that animation but anyways that's pretty much all of them delivered they were all delivered alive don't know why it did that animation there but he was alive but anyways that's pretty much it for the bounty there guys if you guys have any other questions about this bounty let me know down below this one I was trying to figure out a little bit on how to deal with the train there's a lot of enemies on it and also the cavalry that chases you but that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like and if you're new to my channel enjoy my content subscribe and I'll see you in the next one take care everyone